in May, go to crewclassic.org for the schedule. Ballast Point Brewing and Spirits, winner of three gold medals and brewer of the year at the 2010 World Beer Cup. Go try one of their tasty craft brews at the Ballast Point Beer Garden. So Sporty is a proud sponsor of the Crew Classic Brunch on Bay. Wishes to thank all of the volunteers who make this event possible. So Sporty has been making rolling apparel since 1987. They are committed to quality products at affordable prices. Please stop by their tent. So Sporty, they'd like to have your feedback. Stop by the Concept 2 CTS tent and try the new dynamic indoor roller. Rowing on the dynamic translates into better connection, rhythm and timing in your boat. Stop by and give it a go. How about a special thanks to our radio partners, Radio San Diego and all of their great stations. 102.1 KPRI, 105.7 The Walrus, Double X 1090 and ESPN 1700 for supporting the Crew Classic. Next event, number 55, men's club, which is the City of San Diego Think Blue Cup. Very good theme. Everyone needs to, of course, realize that what goes down the stormwater drains ends up in the bay. So we need to make sure when we see the wrong thing happening that the right people find out about it so that we can stop the wrong thing happening going down the stormwater drains. Gentlemen, we just cleared some kelp from the course right in the immediate starting area, so we're just going to wait for just a second here to make sure the water calms down. Okay, you probably heard that. The starter was uh, telling the crews that the uh, on-water support staff, water operations, have been doing a bit of gardening in some of the lanes. We have a lineman. Long Beach Rowing Association, your count is 24. East Bay Rowing, your count is 33. Sac State, your count is 18. Rocky Mountain, your count is 5. San Diego Rowing Club, your count is 5. Well, two of these crews going off together, San Diego Rowing Club and One, Rocky Mountain Rowing Club. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the men's 11, club. 12, eight, 13, lane one, Long 14, Beach. Lane two, East Bay. 15, lane three, 16, Sacramento State. 17, lane four, Rocky 18, Mountain. 19, lane five, 20, San Diego. And Sac State have left 22, two. 23, so 24, 25, Long Beach are off. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, and East Bay, the final crew to go. 35, 36. See how this unwinds. Well, what I suspect we're going to see is this. Sometimes, even though a crew may have the youngest age and therefore be the back marker off the start, they may not necessarily be the most experienced rowers. And if that's the case, then they've got a big gap to make up. In the lead there we can see the two crews from who left first that is nearest to us in the red the uh, uh, San Diego Rowing Club and the crew in in the yellow sorry not that boat crew in the red San Diego Rowing Club crew in the white on the outside of them the Rocky Mountain Rowing Club they left on five seconds and San Diego University sorry the San Diego Rowing Club have eked out a lead of about the canvas over Rocky Mountain. Maybe a bit more than that, might be a quarter of a length.
San Diego Rowing Club and Rocky Mountain still going at it, stroke for stroke. But in lane one, we're starting to see Long Beach make up some of the ground. Some very, very experienced rowers in this Long Beach boat. And Long Beach, and dare I say it, Sacramento State seem to be making up some of that handicap on the two front front running crews at the moment. San Diego Rowing Club coming up to the thousand, still maintaining their lead over Rocky Mountain. Probably a lead of about a quarter of a length. Not dropping them though. And they may have their eyes on what's coming up from behind. As they come through the thousand, San Diego Rowing Club with about a quarter of a length over Rocky Mountain. That's Rocky Mountain with the Colorado State flag on their oars. Long Beach is starting to move on them. Out in lane one. Long Beach have edged into second place, I'd say, at this point. crew that really doesn't seem to have made any progress at all unfortunately is the East Bay rowing. They're in lane two. They were the, they were the back markers that went off last. But Long Beach seem to have edged in the lead into the lead at this point. San Diego Rowing Club trying to maintain their position at the front of the race. The other crew that's coming up from the back is the Sac State Aquatic Center. They're now challenging Rocky Mountain. But Long Beach, who started on 24 seconds, have made up the distance on Sac State. They've made up the distance on Rocky Mountain. And I think they've made up the distance on San Diego Rowing Club now. San Diego Rowing Club still maintaining their advantage over Rocky Mountain and Sac State, but Sac State have up the rating and they're coming home strong. In lane one, Long Beach, we've come from quite a ways back in this race. They were the second last crew off, but they've made up the distance made up 21 seconds on Rocky Mountain and San Diego Rowing Club. Sac State also came from 18 seconds back. They've taken Rocky Mountain at the moment, but San Diego Rowing Club are trying to hang on to that second spot. They're going to be very close. Sac State of the boat that's moving. San Diego Rowing Club taking it up. Coming down to the line, Long Beach, long powerful strokes. Very close between Sac State and San Diego Rowing Club. Could come down to who takes the last stroke, being trailed by Rocky Mountain. Not sure who got that one. San Diego. Here's the replay on the line. 
And it looks like San Diego might have just got there. I'm not sure. Always a bit deceptive from an angle. And here comes the East Bay Rowing. East Bay Rowing from Oakland. They were the back markers on this from 33 seconds and they had a big task. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, 